guys, Karun Sena to yet another amazing episode here at Kaluhi's Kitchen. I'm so excited to be filming today and I'm equally as excited to have you guys here with me today. I love my pork and that being one of my favorite meats of all time, today we're going to make a bomb ass recipe with the elements of red wine, ginger, chili. It's going to be so amazing and I'm so excited to take you along this journey with me. Buckle up, it's going to be super super explosive. Karibuni sana. Twanze sasa. As you can see, I already have my pork here. It's, I bought it yesterday and it marinated the whole night. You can marinate it a bit longer or you can marinate it for an hour if you're in a rush. But as I always say, the longer you marinate, the deeper the flavors infuse into your meat. So for me, I went with overnight marination, but you can do up to three days, but always make sure if you're not marinating for an hour or for a short period of time, you do it refrigerated so that, so that your meat doesn't rot. My meat smells amazing. I know all the ingredients I put in my marinade have sunk into the flesh of my pork. And let me tell you exactly what I used to marinate my pork. There are just few ingredients, but those that I know go well together with pork. First ingredient, some soy sauce. Not only will it, will it add a nice brown color to my meat, it will also add an element of saltiness. Second, some balsamic vinegar, which I really love for all my meats. It, it adds an acidic element to this and also further tenderizes our pork. Next, some honey for, to introduce some sweetness and also honey caramelizes really well and that will also add into the aesthetic appeal for our pork at the end of this recipe. Next, some dried thyme for some happiness and also some depth of flavor and then some chili and if you have been following me for this last quarter of the year, you know I have really been digging the chili by Mdalasini relishes. You can use any chili really, you just need to have an element of heat in your spices but if you want to use the exact chili paste I used for this recipe, I will link Mdalasini relishes comments down below so go check it out and buy some for yourself. Lastly, some fresh ginger and a lot of it. I love the combination of pork and ginger and it's really hard to feature in this recipe. So for those um, six elements, I just mix them in a bowl and pour them over my liver, then slathered everything. And once my meat was coated, I covered with a lid and then placed in my fridge to marinate overnight. You can cut your ribs into individual pieces before slathering the marination mixture but me i was just dead tired and i was like no i'm not doing this work right now so i just put the marinade ingredients on a full rack but right now i just want to slice them into individual pieces because i feel it will fit onto my baking tray a lot easier then we're going to add our seasoning but before we get into the seasoning details let's slice up our ribs And now that our individual ribs have been sliced, we're now going to go in with our seasoning. And for that, I chose just three spices, paprika, cumin, and black pepper, because I don't want the nice warm elements of the marinade to be outshone. So we're just going to go with three complementary spices. Mix everything in and then pour it over your ribs. Give it a nice good mix and then we are ready to proceed to the next step. Hi, and now we are back with our baking tray. As you can see, it has been wrapped in some foil. Let me just set this aside. Our ribs have been marinating and now they are seasoned. Now we're going to go into the next step, which is adding, placing our ribs onto our baking tray and then we'll proceed to bake them. Now, if you want to trauma your ribs, just make sure you, you leave them on the rack because if you do them individually, it will give you a hard time if you're chomering. But if you're baking, I advise you to just cut them up into individual pieces. I understand some people like to have a whole rack, but I like to have mine individual. And you know what? Dunia, there are no rules really. If you want to do a whole rack in the oven, feel free to do so. Absolutely perfect. Everything is now well arranged. I was quite anxious that Hazinge Toshia, but Zime Toshia, so yay! <laughs> 
<laughs> now that this is nicely laid onto our baking tray we're going to grab this container and as you can recall this is the same container i used for my pork marination but what's left inside is all that flavor all that juice all that ginger garlic honey which will not go to waste but will be added to our pork ribs to facilitate the braising process it's not quite braising because there's no initial searing but the process is still the same because what we'll add will infuse further flavor into the meat which is always a plus to make this flavor even more explosive we're going to add a cup of dry red wine just pour it in mix it all up until everything is combined with the wine and then thereafter we're going to pour everything onto our ribs until evenly distributed every single drop is in i love the smell of dry red wine and just to emphasize I have said dry red wine don't go and buy ribena flavored wines and put it in this recipe no 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 i have said a dry red wine for this recipe i have used a merlot you can use a cabernet sauvignon or any other dry red wine really you just have to make sure it's a dry red wine say it with me a dry red wine i hope umeshika nisha that said I think we're ready to cover with our foil and proceed to bake and i just want to say what we're doing over here is braising not boiling as you can see my pork is not swimming in noah's flood it's just very partially it's not even covered the liquid is at the very bottom lining the foil cabisa it's not a stew it's we're not boiling this is not noah's flood we're not making pacific ocean with pork it's just braising so make sure the liquid is kidogo sana and if you're worried about the quantities don't worry the exact quantities shall be on my blog link on my description box but first let's finish this up cover with the foil shiny side up and now that our pork is covered nice and tight and our oven is already preheating let's proceed to bake guys my kitchen smells like the best place on earth there i say it smells better than heaven and you know what i'm going to stand by that statement <laughs> my pork is now done and let me tell you guys believe me when i say it's very very tender let me show you how let me take these two forks come see how tender it is literally with minimal effort all the flesh that just comes apart i'm not even forcing anything it just literally slides off with minimal effort let's just taste this i hope simoto sana mm. exactly what i was going for you can taste the chili you can taste the honey you can taste the balsamic you can taste every single thing i put into the marinade as well as the seasoning and that means this step is done as you can see most of the liquid has already dried off and has been absorbed by the meat you can also taste the red wine as you taste the meat and that's exactly what we wanted when we added the red wine a lot of the fat has also rendered and that's how pork cooks so don't be shocked when you find quite a lot of fat after you've you've done the baking so Keep that in mind now that this is done we're just going to drain all the excess liquid from this baking tray and then we're going to baste our ribs with some red wine barbecue sauce and then we're going to pop it back in the oven for about 10 no for about 5 to 10 minutes and then we'll be done done the red wine barbecue sauce is also super easy to make here's how i made mine I started off with some red onion, garlic and chili paste in my sufuria. I let this cook until softened and fragrant and then added my ketchup, my honey and my red wine. I mixed it all up and allowed it to simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until thickened.
guys we are done this is the most beautiful plateful of pork ribs in the entire world that you have to admit if tungeko tuna fly na macho peke yake tungeko tushashi but this is a feast for the eyes and i know without doubt it's going to be a party on my taste buds as well speaking of let's give this a taste test <laughs> let me take this one mm. Mm. oh shit yes <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. First of all, guys, on any school in a force, it's so tender, so tender. How do I know if I can't say? Flavor wise, what's any matter? Flavor wise, you can taste the ginger, which always goes so well with pork. You can taste the booziness of the red wine, you can taste the thyme, you can taste the cumin, you can taste the sweetness of the honey, which is contrasted by the heat of the chili. Perfect combination in my book. This is a simple recipe which I know, without doubt, you two are going to enjoy once you try this out. Don't forget, Kamakawida, the exact recipe quantities are on my blog. Link on my description box. We are going into the holiday season, so make sure this recipe is among the things you're going to try out and enjoy with your friends and family. And once you do, take a pic, tag me on any social media platform. I'd love to show you off. For me, it's now time to go and have my lunch. <laughs> and it's going to be freaking amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a heart in the comment section. Quirini guys, thank you so much for being part of the best people on the internet. Bye guys!